The first item included is the magic coloring of book. What you do with this book is show it completely empty, just like that. Now we need some pictures inside the book, so I'll take some pictures and throw them into the book, and the book is now full of pictures. But what's the point of pictures without coloring them in? So now I'm going to take some color and throw it into the book, and then the book is full of color, just like that. Then if you blow on the book, all the pictures completely vanish, and that's magic. What I'm going to do now is the famous ball and vase trick. What I'm going to do is take the ball out of the vase and place it into my pocket. We'll now make the ball jump from the pocket back into the vase. Watch this. Abracadabra, and just like magic, the ball is back in the vase. Now we'll make it jump back again. Abracadabra, and it jumps right back down to the pocket, just like magic. I'm now going to perform for you the amazing Indian rope trick. What I'm going to do is try and hypnotize a piece of rope. I'll take the piece of rope, watch this, sleep! The rope is now completely asleep, but watch this. Wake up! And the rope wakes up just like magic. The Indian rope trick. This is called my magic lunchbox. When I was just a little wee girl, I used to take this to school, sorry, little boy, I used to take this to school and I'd show it completely empty at lunchtime. Then I'd think of something I'd like to eat. And just like magic, lollies would appear inside the lunchbox. When my friends would ask for a lolly, I'd say, sure, open up and show, oh, sorry, they've all gone. And that's what we call the magic lunchbox. This next trick is called Dice Bomb. Inside this case, I have a die. What I'm gonna do, watch closely. I'll put the lid on, give it a shake, and it turns into six small dices, just like magic. I'm now gonna perform for you the amazing Swingali deck. Here I have a normal pack of cards. Sir, would you mind just saying stop wherever you like? Stop. Right there? You sure? Okay. Remember that card where you stopped. Okay. I'm now going to place the card back into the middle of the pack and we'll make it jump to the top. Watch this. Jump! Just like magic, your card jumps to the top of the pack. It gets better. Let me show you one more time. All these cards are different. Because what would be amazing would be if I could take your card and turn it into every single card in the pack. Now that's amazing. I'm now going to perform for you the money machine. Welcome to my bank. This is how I make money. I take a piece of paper, I put it into the machine. As I turn the machine, as it passes through, it prints into a $20 bill just like magic. That's the money machine. This next trick is called the zigzag rope. What I'm going to do is take a piece of rope and pull it through and you get the audience just to say stop. When they say stop, you say I'm now going to chop the piece of rope into where you stopped. One, two, three. The rope is now chopped in two pieces just like magic. We're now going to restore the piece of rope. A little magic blow, and the rope is now completely restored, just like magic. Then you can hand the rope out to the audience, and they can inspect the rope. Now that's magic. One of the oldest tricks in magic, the cups and balls trick. I have here three cups and three balls. What I'm going to do is take these three balls and three cups and perform a little bit of magic, okay? I'll take this middle ball here and put it on top of the middle cup. If I place the other cup on top and give a little tap, what happens is the ball jumps right through down to the bottom, just like magic. 
I'll show you one more time. Here's what we do. We take the three cups and we put the middle ball on top of the middle cup. One more tap with the magic wand and it passes right through to the bottom. Now what we'll do is we'll try this trick one more time. But this time, I'll cover up the middle ball. We'll put one more ball on top, a little tap with the magic wand, and this time, there's now two balls under the cut. We'll try this one more time, but this time, I'll cover up the two balls, and we'll try something a little bit different. This time, I'm going to put the ball on top of the cup over here, and go, <whistles> make it jump all the way from that cup through the air, and just like and magic, land over there, the three balls just like that reappear amazing cups and balls. I'm now going to try and bend a metal spoon with the power of my mind. Watch this. If I concentrate on the spoon, it should look like the spoon actually begins to bend right in front of my eyes. Just like that. The amazing thing about this trick is you can actually hand the spoon out if they want to inspect it and they can have a look and try and bend the spoon with their mind as well. That's what we call the amazing bending spoon. I'm now going to show you one of the fastest magic tricks in the world. It's called the disappearing card case. I take a pack of cards and I'm going to place them into the card case. Now watch the cards. Don't blink or you'll miss it. One, two, three. And just like magic, the cards completely vanish. That is the disappearing card case. This is called the magic line. Watch this. Oh, <laughs> in this side, out the other. We'll do it one more time. Watch. In this side, out the other. In this side, out the other, just like that. In here, out there, in there, out there. And we'll put it back in there. That's called the magic line. 